How's it going, you lore enthusiasts? We're back with another Anthem Lore video, and today we're going to be discussing the planet we're actually playing the game in. So the world of Anthem is actually called Coda. Yeah, if you didn't know that, it is actually called Coda, and this has been confirmed by the creative narrator. It is the planet in which Anthem takes place, and has at least two moons from what we know. We can see this at night if you look up ahead, and you'll see the shapes of two moons around our actual planet. So it's pretty cool, but yes, the actual planet is called Coda, C-O-D-A. Coda is a vast, volatile living world, and is in a constant state of change thanks to the shape of relic and cataclysms. It is believed to have been created by the shapers who the humans consider to be gods, also known as shaper gods. It is said that they set out to create the world in nine days, using tools that were able to tap into the anthem of creation. The shapers, however, mysteriously vanished on the third day, leaving their relics behind, littering the landscape with their presence. These wondrous, massive objects were used to create a beautiful world. Yet, if left alone, they can become unpredictable and destructive, as we saw in the latest cutscene released by Bioware. In the present time, they are still found in the world, but mostly taken over by nature. The discovery of these relics have been both beneficial and detrimental to the world's inhabitants. When the relics activate, they drastically alter the surrounding environment, often in destructive ways. These include the mutation of local flora and fauna and the transformation of the planet itself. These relics did, however, serve a greater purpose for humanity. The technology salvaged from these relics enabled Arden Vasa, who created the Arcanist Academy of Valafra, the Fortress of Dawn, and the Watchtower of Arath, to create the very first javelins, which allowed them to survive the dangers caused by the very same relics and their oppressors, the Urgoth. Nothing in Coda is mass-produced, everything is handcrafted by its residents. The origins of the world lie so far in the past, it has faded out from memories and has since become a legend that is now told in the blissful nights to one and all that want to listen. Many humans have told stories over time to try and explain the nature of the world around them with a varying degree of success. Currently, humans live scattered across various enclaves, constantly under the siege of animals mutated by the shape of relics as well as the Dominion who seek to control the Anthem of Creation for greater power, making them no different to the creatures that roam Bastion in the eyes of the locals. Human ruins can be found among the wilderness and it is clear that they have been living on this planet for a while. However, the secret of humanity's origins is unknown. Humanity is outscaled by Coda's other creatures and nearly every animal in the world is hostile to humans. The climate of the world is unforgiving, and the unforgiven state gives way to numerous natural events which occur in the world, such as space-time shape of storms, unpredictable cataclysms, and catastrophic changes to the land, uncharted terrains, forsaken ruins, primeval beasts, and marauders all exist on this planet. Currently to date, there are not many known locations, with the world divided into 10 sub-regions, at least in the game. Most, if not all of the game, takes place on the continent of Mirus. North Bastion is also within the continent of Mirus. It's nested between the Sundric Sea, which is a location in the world. It's a body of water that borders the continent of Mirus and the mountains. Northern Bastion has a plethora of shape or constructs and historical Legion of Dawn architecture, including the Fortress of Dawn. The population of this area has been depleted greatly since the tragic destruction of Fremont and the subsequent mass exodus of the Arcanist settlement of Shadow Mark. Fort Tarsis, the halfway point between Antium and the cities of Fremont, and Helios respectively, is the only settlement that remains in this area. The game has you based on what is called Fort Tarsis. Fort Tarsis is a compound protected by a mega structure called the Wall. I know, pretty original, right? which shields humanity from the dangers of the outside world. Automated turrets are located on it. Fort Tarsus itself is a large, sprawling city and is a place where humans can feel safe, at least for now. The known locations around Mirus currently include the following. Bastion. Bastion is a location in the world, a human kingdom located in a warm, verdant region, home of the Arcanists who are the location's oldest faction. Northern Bastion. Nested between the Sundric Sea and the mountains, Northern Bastion has a plethora of shaper constructs and historical Legion of Dawn architecture, including the Fortress of Dawn. Antium. Antium is a human city and kingdom, and the de facto capital of the world. 
The Sentinels serve as the city's main defensive force. It is ruled by Emperor Valastel. Yes, that does mean Vax's royalty if you've played through the campaign and forgotten, and if you haven't, sorry for the spoilers, but she is royalty. Deal with it. Freemark, destroyed, was the second most populated city, now known for the Battle of Freemark, is the home of the cataclysm known as the Heart of Rage. Heliost, Heliost is a location in the world also called the Engineer City. Heliost is a human settlement. The gates of Heliost have been occupied by scars sometime before the Heart of Rage occurred. And finally, Strahlheim, home of the Paladins, one of the original groups that formed after the Legion of Dawn disbanded, said to now be the home of the Dominion, which was the resulting government from the Paladins. Well, there's a bunch of stuff here that we've covered. There's a couple areas here that we've never seen before, Heliost, Antium, and it'd be really cool to go to these places. Also, the fact that the planet is actually called Kodo, which is totally weird. And we also have confirmation that this planet is not Earth. It's not Earth in any way, shape or form. And the people that are here are not from the planet Earth. This was confirmed some time ago by Mike Gamble in an interview. But it is actually true that though people assumed this was like some prehistoric alternate dimension Earth, it is not. This planet is called Coda. And... I kind of like the name. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you like the name Coda? Do you not like the name Coda? Was Coda ever a name that came to your mind when you thought about the name of the planet we play our game in? Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next video, freelancers. Remain Legend.